What's up guys, Learning with Rich here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use your shared parameters to your schedule. Okay, so let's say for example, here's the scenario. If I'm going to select this um, BIM and then go in the type, proper, uh, type properties, click that. So let's say for example, I want to use this B and H to my schedule. So I want this B and H to be included to my schedule because currently if I'm going to open my schedule that we have created a while ago, okay, there is no B and H here. And if I'm going to edit this from the properties, edit fields, I can't select here the B and H. So it's not appearing on this available fields okay so it's not appearing here so even if i select this one uh see there is no bnh right so that is what we want to do for our schedule so we want the bnh to be included to our structural framing schedule okay so for us to be able to do that, we need to create a shared parameter. So we need to convert those type parameters, B and H, to shared parameters. So how to do that? Okay, so to do that, I'm going to select one of the structural framing. And then after that, I'm going to edit family. So we will be editing the family here. And there you go. Okay, so now the next thing that we'll be doing for us to be able to see the parameters that created for this um, rectangular beam. So you can go to properties and then look for family types. Open that one. And then you will now see here the family types. So you have three types here. All of these types includes the base and height parameters or the, or the width and height parameter. Okay. Now, so how to convert this BH parameter to shared parameters? Okay, so to do that, I'm going to modify first the B, the base, or the or the width. So I'm going to select this. And then after that here, I'm going to select this icon here to edit the parameter. So you just click that. And there you go. Now, I'm going to create a shared parameter. So instead of family parameter, I'm going to click shared parameter and then select. All right. So a while ago, I already created the parameter, but I'm going to show you how to do it from scratch. So what you do is you select here, edit. And then on the edit shared parameters, just select create. So we are going to creating a shared parameter. So create. And then let's say I will call this, uh, uh, let me just override the old one. Okay, so this is a text file. And one advantage of shared parameter is the parameters here can be shared to other projects. Okay, you can share that to multiple projects wherein if you're just going to use your basic or simple project parameter, you can only use that on the current project that you are working on. But if you create a project shared parameters or shared parameter, you will be able to use this as well in other projects. You can use that to multiple projects. Okay, so it's a text file. You can always copy this and then put it to your uh, network so that other people can access it. You can set up this to your project. But anyway, let me just override the old parameter, shared parameter, and then I'm going to select here, save to override it. Just select yes. All right, and then after that, we need to create a group here. Currently, we can create a new parameter, so that's why we need to create a new group. So just select new, so we'll be creating group for dimensions okay so dimensions and then okay and that's it so you can now create the parameter under the dimension groups so i'll just select new and then for the name just type b for that and then for the type of parameter i just select length okay and then just select okay 
that's it you now have your b parameter then let's create another one so i'm going to select new this one going to be my h and then again type of parameter is important so make sure that's length so select ok there you go and then after that i'm going to select ok here to close the edit shared parameters window so i select ok and then on the shared parameter, since we are modifying the B parameter, I'm going to make sure that the B parameter is selected. And then I'll select here, OK. And there you go. So again, we are going to put that on the type properties, not on the instance properties. So when you select instance, this parameter, you'll be able to see that here in this window. So this is your instance properties. So if you select type, properties or type parameter you can see this parameter when you click the edit type it will open up the type properties so you can see there your type parameter okay right so type select okay there you go and then then let's do that as well on our h so you click the h edit that shared parameter we already created the h we just need to select that h shared parameter select okay there you go type parameter select okay and that's it select okay and there you go so after we modify the family let us now load this into the project so select load into project override the existing version and its parameter values Okay, so now if you are going to click again the beam and then check the type properties as if nothing happens, right? There's still your BNH. But if we are going to check our schedule here, so let's edit our schedule. Double click the structural framing schedule and then let's go to the uh, schedule properties, other fields, edit. So just in case your property is not showing here for your schedule, so you can click the drop down arrow and make sure you select schedule structural framing schedule. Now let's edit the fields. So select edit. And then uh, I don't need the family and type. So I'm going to select family and type and then remove that. Or just simply double click it to remove from the scheduled fields. And then we are now going to add the BNH. There you go. See, our B appears now in our available fields. And if you hover your pointer, it tells us that is a shared parameter, family length. So just double click that to add. There you go. And then the H will appear. There you go. So there's now your H. A while ago, it's not here. So, But since we convert that to shared parameter, you can now select it from here. So H. And then let's select both. You click the B and hold control and then click H to select both. And then you can select move parameter up. Okay, maybe second and third column. Then that's it. After that, select OK. And there you have it. Okay, so there's now your B, there's now your H. And then the family and type column is now removed. Okay, so that's how your shared parameters works. So that's how you create shared parameters. So that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.